Pisces, welcome. Your end of November heart spread read here in beautiful downtown Cancun, Mexico. <laughs> I forced indoors from my uh, urban jungle studios um, by the rain. This is a rainy season, so that's to be expected. I'm using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck for this reading, which reads the one that's on your mind and the one that's in your heart. Simple as that. Um, so it's an eight card reading. I did pre shuffle. Um, this looks at you and your person, an astrologer too, so always think of the first house and the seventh house, and your person's over here in the seventh house, we project our anima animus, and it's just who, who's on your mind, who's in your heart. You don't necessarily have to be with them, you don't necessarily have to be alive. <laughs> so, it's just going to pick up on who's in your heart, Knight of Pentacles, this is your energy, in and around relationships, where your mind is at and where your heart is at. Um, Knight of Pentacles energy for Pisces, very solid energy. I try to, we're going to look at your person too in the same way, but I try to get a, a look at this to see where you're at, to one, for you, see if it resonates, and two, so I kind of know where you're at, because really this is synastry, so i got to look at you, look at them, then look at how you relate together. Um, you know, this looks to me, <clears throat> someone that's very solid, uh, you have a mission, uh, you a well-defined goal uh, that you have, um, whatever that is. I mean, you're in school, you're working to finish, you're working, but you're working because you want to build a life, and you're, it's something kind of, it's not vague, like you're, you know, take care of business. Someone solidly engaged in life, um, it speaks to someone too, maybe in the, you're past the first Saturn return at 2829, and before your uh, second one uh, at uh, 5859 and um, you're in the midst of life um, and I don't see you really focusing much on relationships that I want to ask right off the bat hmm. Hmm. well you know sometimes we're really not focused on relationships we're living our life but it doesn't mean we're dead we're still thinking of somebody let's see who you're thinking of hmm. I'm gonna tell you right now this is the one that got away energy I don't know. I'm guessing they got away from you here, Pisces, but could be the other way. But now, where's your person's mind and heart in and around relationships, in and around love right now? Um, now, again, I try to pull this away from you guys and your relationship. Just kind of look at where they're at, get a, a baseline. And, you know, it kind of says, like, if this is someone, they're totally not interested in relationships. So... Um, now, if you're thinking of them and you're not together, because I got to kind of get that feeling, it's like, um, you know, there's, I don't really agree with it, <laughs> apparently I'm one the only one, but there's this prevailing wisdom that the only time you're going to find the right one is when you just don't give a fuck and you're not looking. Hmm. You guys should be, do well. I mean, let's see where this goes. We should have a match here. <laughs> Because they don't give a fuck and you ain't looking. <laughs> Pisces, uh, we got sun. I do read the bottom deck here, lightly. That cast in a nice glow over this, you know. Maybe it is the perfect energy. For you, I get it. Like, you're really living your life, doing your thing. <clears throat> and that's an attractive energy. You know, you're not just slopping around and, you know, trying to find someone else to project on and fulfill your needs. You're in the midst of a busy life. Um, I don't know what they're doing, but they're not kind of similar. They're not emotionally out looking for anyone to fill their needs. Okay. And the five of wands. Now, now this is how you feel once you start interacting with them. So that's a pretty obvious change from the Knight of Pentacles to the five of wands. That's arguing and bickering. That's what that is. Arguing and bickering. Ah, jeez, guys. Mm. Fresh brewed Hamaiko. Huh, so, this is a terrible energy when it comes to relationships. Um, usually, it belies something below the surface. You, you know, the, uh, below the it's not just the arguing and bickering. Um, I was about to make an astrology joke. Maybe I won't. Yes, I will. So, <laughs> if you're with a uh, Gemini, they might not understand at all that below this arguing and bickering lies a greater issue amongst you usually emotional issue among you um 
and um, let's see how they're reacting to you. <laughs> Ten of Swords. So I don't know, guys, what's going on? You're, uh, you're, are you thinking about a person you had this kind of terrible breakup with? I mean, because look, Ten of Swords, I don't, I don't know. I can't remember ever getting the Ten of Swords in this position. I've done, Jesus, I'm well over 800 readings, and I don't know, maybe a third of those are heart spreads, maybe. But it has got to be. They feel like you did them wrong. Because I was going to say, like, uh, I have a feeling because see your knight's face in a way. Maybe you're the one that walked on them and said, you know, you said to them, I'm not interested. Like, they're not good enough. But now you're thinking of them, guys. And, you know, when you think of them, it's, it's, is it true? I mean, leave me a comment. This would be really nice if you would do this. If you made it this far, if you're resonating here Pisces when you think of this person um, do you kind of start to get agitated honestly like in your minds like you start thinking maybe for a minute it's dreamy like oh, it was really hot that time you know in the Poconos with the you know Elvis uh, velvet Elvis on the walls and the uh, champagne glass jacuzzi uh, but then once that's over it's like just just conflict just negative it's like it seems like it's been a, a bad relationship if it's a past relationship it's a bad relationship if it's an ongoing relationship it's like uh, Really, what I get here is like, it almost could be like you're stalking this person, which again, it's a weird thing to say since it's your reading, because you obviously would know, David, Jesus Christ, I know I'm not stalk, stalk, uh, you know, uh, stalking them, you know, but I wonder like in their mind, like maybe you're not thinking you're stalking them, but maybe they're like, you know, I'm done. Or if, if you didn't like shut the door, then they, then they just, this is definitely could be just, just the energy of, I, I am done with you, you know. It does kind of imply to me that there was a you. There was something there, though, you know, um, with you guys that they're done with, right? And let's get advice from Spirit for you, guys. Knight of Swords. Well, <laughs> okay, Spirit knows the best. So I, I place this highly. Uh, this is the advice from Spirit for you and how to interact with this person. And they come in as a Knight of Pentacles. And this is the coming at you, Knight. So what this means, I, I think I told you, this five of wands is a bickering and arguing, but it's like there's something below that that needs to be addressed, and this is addressing that head on. What is that below there that needs to be addressed, guys? Knight of Cups. <laughs> that What needs to be addressed is they're not giving you their cup of love. They're not interested, or you've been dating a long time, and you're saying, like, where are we going? What are we going to do? You're the Knight of Pentacles. Told you, you're going somewhere with your life. Why would your love life be different than the rest of your life? You're, you know, you're uh, disciplined and, 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 and doing the right, you're adulting, you're doing the right thing. Why wouldn't you want your love life to be that way? And so this could just be the energy of them saying, I am not interested. I am just not interested, guys. And it's because you're, uh, what Spirit wants you to know is you've got two knights here. And so uh, another way to look at this is since this is advice from Spirit, you have to like figure with this five of wands. It could be like quit bickering and arguing and very directly take your get your cup of love. And I don't know, was that, if the, was that the case? Was there, it, it, it couldn't have been like initially, uh, Pisces, you somehow... Uh, Nick them, you know, drew first blood, and then they like overreacted, and and started some kind of cycle. Because this advice could be, this could be to very directly take your couple up to them, you know. But the other way I'm looking at it is, it's very much saying that, you know, understand maybe and talk to them about the fact that that love is not forthcoming, you know. Um, you do have the sun as the overall energy here. Take some solace in that, guys. Page of Pentacles. Okay, we got a little bit of movement here for your person. Now, this is your advice uh, from Spirit for your person. So, Page of Pentacles. It's a little bit of the advice of kind of get your shit together. It also could be kind of get your story together. Um... They're looking, you see, she's looking at that pinnacle like it's just so amazing to her. Like, I sure would love to have this pinnacle. Boy, she didn't have to take it across the courtyard and give it to whomever. Um, and so I think it's advice from spirit for them to kind of just think about maybe they have something valuable here with the Pisces. 
you know. I, I get the strong feeling it's a reconciliation thing. There's probably like an affair. Somebody's hurt. There's, you're wanting to get back. Um, uh, they're being advised to consider it very carefully. Consider, you could say this is a new start too, a solid new start. Spirit's advising them to have a solid new start with you. Let me see what we get for the advice relationship. But yeah, okay, so your advice here becomes really clear now because of the Six of Pentacles to me. Your advice is to, you know, quit all the arguing and bickering. You're already the Knight of Pentacles. Two more Knights. Basically, it's, it, it's somehow, I don't know, they could be passive, you know, uh, over here. Um, I want to say you could be dealing with another Pisces here, I've got a feeling. So, um, you know, you need to take the lead here and you can do it. Think of it like this. Whatever you do in your career, in your regular life, bring that same energy to this relationship. And I'm not saying, you know, uh, that, that it should be uh, codependent and uh, uh, toxic or anything like that. Um, just very, very uh, direct, you know, like, you know, I know there's something between us. Here's how I know. And you go into specific details and you say, you know, I have these feelings for you. The Knight of Cups is looking at them. Uh, and now it's looking at the Six of Pentacles, which is the advice for the relationship as a whole. And that's in the crux of the heart spread. And so, you know, <clears throat> like it or not, I see it's like you, it's, you know, it's a relationship, it's how it rolls. You have to take the lead in this. And if it's any advice, it's advice from spirits, my advice, take the lead. Who cares? Like, you know, um, I don't know why not. If you're scared, if you're, I don't know, just shy. I mean, I think it's someone you've dealt with before because the advice from spirit is to come together and bring in this kind of balance. I get the sense like, you know, I, there's a phrase that's used, you, you can't win a relationship. I get the sense with both of you, maybe in the past or your history has been of you're kind of trying to win. Be in your sinistry, Mars to Mars, Mars to Sun, my, uh, harsh aspects, uh, Saturn to Mars come in there. Uh, a lot of different ways that could play. You'll see it. Um, and maybe you're trying to win, each of you, in... Um, this very much implies stop trying to win, just work together to be, you know, and be solid and be grounded. And I think it's in your hands to make this happen. They have the Page of Pentacles as their advice. So it, they don't have to take it with all that free will, but there's probably their spirits, their guides are trying to get through to them in dreams, in intuition, in tarot reading, share this with them, it's how it works. Uh, hey, consider what you got here. You got something important here. And if they do that, and if you come across, and really this is being very mature, very direct, very vulnerable, open. You're three nights. You're not that vulnerable. And you could make this happen together, this solid Six of Pentacles, balanced um, kind of beginning for you guys, new beginning, and a Nine of Cups. Now, the way I see this playing out, you're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. That's what this Nine of Cups means here. I don't have to clarify it. It's not bad. You're going to get clear. You're going to get solid. They're going to agree after you guys talk that they want to have an exclusive relationship with you. And you're going to have an exclusive relationship that's more than the past. I think this is just how this shakes out. This is a past relationship. You're, you're figuring things out. You're doing this again. There's some people say, oh, it never, it often works the second time. That's bullshit. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but with the six pinnacles here as advice for the relationship as a whole, I feel pretty good about it. I don't worry about this nine of cups. There's going to be a period. Maybe it's only nine months or a year or something where you guys are dating and getting, growing closer. And that's where this relationship is going. And for that, where it goes from there, I mean, um, it's up to you. I pulled personal reading if you want to go deeper. But to me, it's like right here, if, if this person makes you happy and you resolve this kind of bullshit with you guys and you get on an even keel, um, then why not? You know, why don't really have to worry so much about what's down the road a year away if day to day. I mean, you're already busy. You have your life. You probably don't have a lot of time anyway to devote to a relationship. So you can go out and have a good time once a week and have a date. Maybe see each other twice a week or something. Maybe you're happy. That's what this nine cups is. Not a bad thing. 
thank you guys uh, let me know what you think of this like uh, do share if you can think of any platform to share this on we think it might be helpful or appropriate please do and do subscribe thank you guys